Hello and welcome to Altcoin XP. My name is Anthony. Uh, in the previous video, we bid on and won our ENS domain name. Then I got confused and didn't finish setting it up after that. But in today's video, I'm no longer confused and I'll be pairing my ENS domain name with my Ethereum address and setting up a subdomain, matching an address to that uh, using my Ethereum wallet. So let's get started. So I'm not doing this blind today. I set up everything with altcoinxp.f off camera. Uh, that's the ENS name that we were playing around with in the last video. And we can check that this was, that it was set up correctly uh, with my Ethereum wallet. So if we, uh, let's start, if we go to send ether and tokens and uh, we can upload our key store file and input the password it'll take a minute or so for it to uh, unlock now if we type in the uh, to address altcoinxp.f it'll show my ethereum address which uh, matches right here in the missed wallet and now if we uh, type in anthony.altcoinxp.f it does not show what I thought it would show all right hold on now when we type in our subdomain anthony.altcoinxp.eth and it shows our ethereum address so awesome uh, now, if we try our uh, other one, altcoinxp-anthony.eth, uh, it shows that the address is not set for it. So that's what we're gonna do uh, today. We're gonna set an address for this. And then also I'm gonna do uh, test.altcoinxp-anthony.eth. All right, so let's get started. So again, I'm following uh, the guide that I was showing you guys last time. So the first thing we have to do to set uh, our public resolver address is we go to uh, etherscan.io dash or etherscan.io forward slash ENS lookup and look up altcoin xp dash Anthony dot F. And now uh, we need to take this name hash from here and uh, we'll just name hash uh, altcoin xp dash anthony dot f. So we take that and then we need the resolver address, which is listed right here. But I guess we can also go to resolver dot f and get it from uh, right here. So resolver. So we only need those two pieces of information in order to set the resolver. So uh, right here, we're going to go to ENS registry and access and then set resolver and then put in our, the node is the name hash that we want. And then uh, here's the contract resolver. And then we need our key store file. unlock that and what this is going to do is in our uh, ENS name after I after I write this this is going to change the resolver right here that's not set it'll change the resolver to this address right here so we're going to go ahead and write that now And we can view our transaction. And I'll be back after it's after the transaction goes through. Okay, so now that that transaction has been confirmed, uh, if we refresh this, this number should have changed. And yep, it's set to our resolver contract. 
uh, the next thing we have to do is set our domain to point to our Ethereum address. So in order to do that, we're going to refer to the guide again and uh, we're going to close all these just for fun. So now for this, we need the name hash and then we need our Ethereum address. So I can get my Ethereum address from my wallet right here. So now what we go do is go to my Ethereum wallet and we go to public resolver. Let's see, yeah, public resolver. Okay, so then yeah, we can see this public resolver is this address which we last set. So now we're interacting with the contract that we last set. And then set address, and then we take our name hash here, and we take our address here, and then we verify everything so we don't spend extra ether and gas. So we need name hash and the uh, sounds good. Unlock our wallet again. And then write this to the contract. Uh, gas prices are going up. And we'll uh, we'll wait for this transaction to confirm now. And what this should do is uh, this should add extra information at the bottom here, which will be, uh, I guess, the ENS reverse lookup. It'll add uh, this address, the our address, to here. So let's look at that. And yeah, now our address is set right here. So now this, we should be done. We should be able, right now, we should be able to send Ethereum to altcoin XP dash Anthony. And we'll go and check that. Altcoin XP dash Anthony dot F. And success, our address is listed here. So now we're going to set an address to the subdomain test dash altcoin xp. So this is pretty much the same process, uh, except there is this additional step. We'll close all these two. There is this additional step, which I'm not 100% sure what it's for. It says set the sub node owner, set the subdomain owner to the address temporarily to allow you to control it. So we're going to go here and we're going to search for uh, altcoin xp dash Anthony. And uh, well, we already have this information, but we need to get the name hash again. So we need the name hash and then we need the label hash of the name that we want or the subdomain that we want. So test dot altcoin xp dash Anthony, copy the label hash right there and then uh, also we need uh, the owner so that's uh, our ethereum address that's from our account and then now we go to the ENS reg registry and set subdomain owner ENS registry and access and set subdomain owner and now here we paste in uh, the name hash here we paste in the label hash here we paste in our account address and then we unlock our file again oh these videos feel very boring And then we're just going to verify again. So we need name hash, label hash, and address. 
and label hash 092x, 092x, correct. And now we'll write this transaction. And we'll wait for this one. And we'll wait for this one to confirm now. Uh, I'm probably cutting this out, but it's, I'm not even going to cut that one out. It's only a couple seconds. Uh, of course, that def depends on the uh, fee that you pay. Yeah, so now we set that as an owner. So this address right here should change to our address. Set success. And then here we're just repeating the exact same thing that we did before with altcoin xp anthonyf So uh, we'll close these out. So now we're going to uh, get the name hash. Now we need the name hash for this. So we'll copy that and go name hash there. And then we need uh, the resolver address. That's fine. And do the same stuff. Oops. So ENS registry access. Uh, set resolver. Now we need the name hash from our subdomain and the resolver address. And unlock our key store. And write this. And what this is going to do is set the resolver here. And uh, the way that it matches is because we're using the name hash of this subdomain now. Before, when we set the resolver address, we use the name hash of this subdomain. So that should have went through. And yeah, and resolver set. So now we, ha so now we have to set our... Uh, now we have to match our Ethereum address to that subdomain. So we do the same thing as before. Uh, I'm gonna close these out just to be less confusing, but we just need the name hash again and the address that we wanna set. So now we'll go to uh, public resolver, right? Select, uh, select set address and then the name hash here and our address here right file unlock there we go and then we'll wait for this transaction to confirm which I think it has already Yep, so now we check this, and that's set, and now we'll verify everything here. Yeah, so now we'll verify everything, altcoin xp dash anthony dot f, altcoin xp. And that's set, and then we'll just screw that up. And now test. So now we can, instead of typing in all these addresses to send Ether to someone, if you want to send Ether to me, all you have to do is type in altcoinxp.f into a ENS compatible wallet like my Ethereum wallet, and uh, makes it a ton easier than having to copy and remember these addresses, which is a gigantic step forward uh, as far as getting cryptocurrency user adoption. Uh, I did notice that if we do this in, uh, in MIST, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't work in MIST. Maybe you have to run it through a contract or something 
I'm not entirely sure. But uh, that's the end of the video. That's how you set up a ENS domain name and match it to your address. If you like this video, or if it's helped you in any way, or you just want to support me, which is kind of awesome if you do, uh, like, subscribe, and share this video, and comment to say thank you or whatever you want to say to me. If you really want to support me, you can donate Ethereum, Bitcoin, or Dash to the addresses on screen and in the video description. And you can also donate to altcoinxp.f using an ENS-compatible wallet, of course. Also, please whitelist my YouTube channel on your ad blocking software. Uh, then follow me on Twitter and the Altcoin XP subreddit. That's it, guys. I feel uh, accomplished now. So thank you. Bye.